Here's problem 41. I've zoomed in on the picture um, to sort of help us see this. It says an architect used this diagram to design a curved balcony. So this is going to be curved right here. She drew a circle with a radius of 40 feet, so here to here is 40, and a central angle of 70 degrees to determine the length of the railing needed for the balcony. So they want to know what is the length from here to here. If they're asking for an arc length in a circle, they're ask, you have to figure out what fractional part. We know the whole distance around would be the circumference. So we just want a fractional part of the circumference. How many degrees out of the 360 are they doing? Well, if the central angle is 70, this is 70 degrees out of 360. So the fractional part is 70 360ths. This length will be 70 360ths of the total circumference times the circumference. Now, I just need to know what the circumference is. That's why they gave me the 40 here, and they had to. Remember, the formula for circumference, I just use pi times diameter. Pi times diameter. Well, the diameter, if this is 40, the diameter is 80. So on the calculator, I'm going to do 70 divided by 360, because that's the fractional part of this entire circumference that we want, because we just want that 70 out of the total 360, times pi times 80. When I do that, I get approximately 48 point, yeah, we'll go with 48.9. And in this case, since they're talking feet, that's how many feet that's going to be. On the answer sheet, option B, which had it rounded to the closest foot of 49 feet. We know that that railing, she's going to need 49 feet of railing in order to make this balcony that she's trying to create. Very good problem there. But again, once you see a circle and they're taking a fractional part of it, when they know a fractional part of the length or a fractional part of the area, you just write that out of 360 times, in this case, the circumference. Sometimes you do it times the area if they want to know what the area maybe of having to put the boards down here. We would have just done 7360 is times power squared to figure out how much boards would have gone right there on that part of that little triangle there.